We only get a brief window of time. It's about a month or six weeks every year in which the water is clear and the, then it returns to its chocolate brown state and it's clear that the visibility is very rapidly diminishing. So we decided to go down to one of the deepest parts that we know of. And at the bottom of this quite deep hole, it's about 12 meters deep, there's the skeleton of an old Makoro lying there. It's been there for years and every year we see it, it gets whittled down a little bit more by the current and the sand. And then quite unexpectedly we came across another crocodile. We have seen a number of crocodiles now underwater and we're beginning to feel like we're becoming more familiar and know what the acceptable levels are and what we can do around them and what we can't. So we got fairly close to this one. When one looks at the eye, you can see it's rather opaque because it obviously has a nictitating membrane that it covers the eye with when it dives underwater. They rely on a tactile sense and anything coming close to their jaw, they'll perceive and then probably snap at. This one sat on the bottom for a while watching us and then sort of tiptoed gently a little way uphill to a cave, which is obviously its familiar bolt hole. Crocodiles have beautiful patterns on their scales, quite intricate detail around their eyes and on their face, and each scale has its own set of dots, almost like dominoes. It is close to their breeding time now. They'll lay eggs in about October. So quite a lot of crocodiles have come to the delta. This is one of their favorite sites to dig their nests and lay their eggs. We were thrilled to find this croc on our last dive. It was quite unexpected and it was really, we felt a very fitting end to a lovely season here in the Okavango.